Hi, I'm Roger Bindle with a demonstration on using motion tracking for adding a video overlay and for adding text. In this case, I've already added the video to my timeline, and now we want to make sure we go back to the beginning of the timeline to add our effects. What I'm going to do next is, in the video FX, add Bezier masking. With this, we select the area that I want to track, which in this case is going to be myself in the kayak. If you have a little trouble finding the area, you can also set this blend temporarily just to find your area. After you've selected the mask area, go into the tr mask and start creating the keyframes that will define where the particular mask is at. Next thing I'm going to do is also to set the general options mask FX on because I want to be able to see the object. You could also change that to invert which is another tutorial. And if we want to see what's happening on the timeline we can go and watch how that object is tracking across the screen. Next we'll insert another video track and I've got a video I've already created this fire loop which is also in another video demo on using compositing where we've set it to screen and it takes out the black and leaves you with just the fire and the next step with that is to create a picture in picture again making sure you go back to the zero level go into the video FX add the picture in picture and now we'll position the fire where we want to have it. In this case I'm going to set it on the front of the board. You can change the angle and you can tweak all you want to get this set. Once you've got that set you need to select the track that you're going to be using, the track that you're be motioning. So using the control key you can select both. Again go back to zero. Go to the tools and what we're going to do is to copy the motion to the pitcher and pitcher. The motion is in the kayak, the pitcher and pitcher is the fire. And we're all set to go. So we can see it's tracking. Next I'll show how simple it is to also to add using the extensions again, adding text to the motion track. And I forgot to select which track I'm going to add that to and where I'm using the motion tracking from. Going into the tools and adding text to the motion track. And this part here is not the best because you're guessing where you want to position it. Once you've got the text created, change it to what you want it to say. In our case I'm going to change it to uh, 12 point font and change the color closer to a white. So we got a kayak with electric motor. And you'll see it's tracking just perfectly fine. The catch is I wanted it a little bit lower on the screen which you cannot change in the settings but you can tweak it a little bit by using the pan and crop. You can move it down which works out fine but if you move it other laterally I'll show you the effects which actually are fine. So there we are. Everything is tracking perfectly. The catch is you'll notice at the right end of the screen notice how the words are deleting as they go off the screen. Uh, for me that works just fine but it's something to be aware of. And that's the demonstration. Hope you have fun.